Welcome to our video on most interesting facts about South Korea. South Korea has a lot to offer from its rich history and culture to its cutting-edge technology and vibrant entertainment industry, but there are some things about this country that even the most well-traveled person may not know, so, let's get started and discover some of the most interesting facts about South Korea. Babies in South Korea are automatically one-year-old upon birth. In South Korea, babies are considered to be one-year-old at birth, due to the cultural tradition of calculating age based on the lunar calendar, rather than the date of birth. This is a unique aspect of South Korean culture. South Korea ties with Japan for the lowest percentage of overweight people. According to recent data, both countries have similar statistics when it comes to the prevalence of obesity among adults. This is a notable fact as it highlights the health and lifestyle habits of the people in these countries. Men in South Korea also use makeup with nearly 20% reported using it regularly. This trend is becoming increasingly accepted and normalized in South Korean society, as men are becoming more conscious of their appearance and grooming habits. South Korean company Samsung produces the microchips used in Apple iPhones. The fact that Samsung is a key supplier for Apple highlights the significance of the South Korean company in the global technology market. Samsung's microchips are known for their high quality and reliability, which is why they are used in many different types of electronic devices. South Korea has the fastest wireless speed in the world with an average download speed of 33.5 megabits per second. This is due to a number of factors such as the government's investment in infrastructure, the widespread availability of high-speed internet, and the high penetration of smartphones and other internet-enabled devices. Seoul functions as the cultural, economic, and political center and capital of South Korea. The city is home to a diverse population of over 10 million people and is a major hub of business, transportation, and tourism. Sejong City is the administrative capital of South Korea. Sejong City is a planned city located in South Korea. It serves as the administrative capital of the country. The city was established in 2007 and it is the home of the central government and many government agencies. The official currency of South Korea is the Korean won. It is used for all financial transactions within the country. The won is divided into smaller units called jon, with 100 jon making up one won. South Korea has no national religion and constitutionally guarantees freedom of religion. This means that individuals are free to practice their religion of choice, or not practice any religion at all without any form of government intervention or discrimination. South Korea typically experiences cold, dry winters and hot, humid summers. The weather in South Korea can vary greatly depending on the location, with coastal regions experiencing a milder climate than inland areas. The most important crop in South Korea is rice. It has been a staple food in the country for centuries and it is deeply ingrained in the culture and society. South Korea is known for the superior quality ginseng that it exports, a medicinal root that is highly valued for its medicinal properties and has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. In South Korea, a name written in red ink indicates that the person is going to die or is already dead. This tradition is rooted in the belief that the use of red ink will prevent the spirit of the deceased person from being confused or lost. The red ink is believed to be a way to guide the spirit to the afterlife. According to legends, a descendant of heaven established Korea in 2333 BCE. This legendary figure, named Dangun, is said to be the founder of the first Korean kingdom, Gojoseon. The story of Dangun's establishment of Gojoseon is considered a foundation myth, and it is widely known among the Korean population. The name Korea originated from Goryeo, which means high and clear. The name Korea is believed to have originated from the Kingdom of Goryeo, which existed in the 10th century AD. South Korea occupies 45% of the southern region of the Korean Peninsula. The Korean Peninsula is located in northeastern Asia and is bordered by China and Russia to the north, and Japan to the east. The southern region of the peninsula is where South Korea is located, while the northern region is occupied by North Korea. South Korea covers a land area of 100,210 square kilometers. The country is relatively small compared to other nations in the region, but it has a diverse and varied landscape that ranges from rugged mountains to flat coastal plains. Over 51 million people live in South Korea. The population of South Korea is one of the most densely populated in the world, with most people concentrated in urban areas, particularly in the capital city of Seoul and its surrounding metropolitan area. Dreaming of pigs is a good omen in South Korea. Although it might sound strange, dreaming about pigs is said to bring good fortune in Korea. In early Korea, pigs symbolized money and wealth. Until the 1970s, pigs were so valued in Korea that students could even pay their university entrance fees by selling a pig. 
the Seoul capital area houses over half of the population of South Korea, also known as Sudokwon. The Seoul capital area refers to South Korea's metropolitan region of Seoul, Incheon, and Gyeonggi-do. This urban area is the fifth largest metropolitan area in the world and holds more than half of South Korea's total population. Soker harvests over 90% of the seaweed consumed around the world. South Korea leads the world in terms of seaweed production, generating over 90% of global seaweed production. In fact, Koreans are so serious about seaweed that the seaweed farms in the southern Korean coast are visible from space. The demilitarized zone separates North Korea from South Korea. In these heavily fortified fences, several endangered animal and plant species thrive. Ecologists identified around 2,900 plant species, 70 mammal species, and 320 bird species in this narrow buffer zone. South Korea has free Wi-Fi everywhere. If you're the type of person who can't be away from the internet, you'd never have to worry about it in South Korea. The country offers free connectivity even on the most remote islands. South Korea is a mountainous country. The Taibik Mountains run north-south along South Korea's eastern coastline. This mountain range spans through North Korea where it forms the drainage divide of the country. South Korea has three main rivers. They are the Han River, Kum River, and Naktong River. All three rivers trace back to Taibik Mountains where they flow between the mountain ranges. Gifting someone with shoes has a negative meaning in Korea. Bad news for sneakerheads. Giving someone shoes as a gift in South Korea traditionally sends the message that one significant other will walk away from them. South Korean mountains do not have very high elevations. Despite Korea being a mountainous country, they aren't exactly the highest peaks. Around two-thirds of South Korea used to be covered with forests. However, long cold winters demand greater fuel needs for the increasing population density of the country. As a result, it took a toll on the country's forests. The Korean War was the first major military conflict between the US and the Soviet Union. However, this conflict has yet to end officially until today. Its three-year-long war in the 1950s was followed by a ceasefire signed between North and South Korea. South Korea houses the first astronomical laboratory in the world. The Kiamsiangi Observatory was built at Jiangju in the mid-600s. South Korea employed the first robotic prison guards on the planet. In 2012, the first robotic prison guards in the world were utilized in Pohang, South Korea. Aside from serving as prison guards, robots in the country also guard the DMZ and could potentially serve as teachers. Jinro Soju has been the best-selling liquor in the world for 11 consecutive years. This South Korean distilled rice liquor surpassed Smirnoff Vodka in the world records for 11 years straight. Hyundai Kia is the fifth largest automaker in the world and second largest in Asia. The South Korean Hyundai Kia Automotive Group has already manufactured 7.5 million cars and trucks. South Koreans have the highest estimated IQ in the whole world. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, South Korea has the highest estimated national IQ of any country in the world. South Korea's population is homogenous. The majority of the country's population has ethnic Korean roots while a small ethnic Chinese minority also resides in the country. There are two traditional kinds of marriage in South Korea. One is yoni or love marriage while the other is chungmei or arranged marriage. Should a local choose not to marry, they would be labeled with the Korean slang big baby. The legal age in South Korea is 19. A South Korean must be at least 19 years old to vote, drink, or smoke legally in the country. Over 20% of the population of South Korea has Kim as their last name. Other common family names in the country are Lee, also spelled Ri or E, and Park that is also spelled Pak. In South Korea, people who reach 60 years old must throw an extravagant party or Hwangap. Back then, only a few locals could live up to that age. Another reason for it being a significant occasion is due to the 60-year cycle of the traditional Korean calendar. In Jeju Island, it is traditional for women to go to work while the husbands stay home. These women are the Hanyo or sea women who dive for abalone, octopus, and sea urchins. Although unorthodox, it is a 1,500-year-old tradition passed down from generations of mothers and daughters. Around 14% of South Korean youths have an internet addiction. This estimate came from the South Korean National Information Agency which led to the passing of the shutdown or Cinderella Law, established in 2011. This law bans people younger than 16 from online game sites. Still, the youth largely ignores the rule. In South Korea, same-sex touching is customary among friends. Boys and men share the no-homo or skinship. They could cultivate a stronger bond by touching each other through platonic gestures like handshakes. However, the touchy-feely culture could only extend to teachers and students of the same sex. 
South Korea is the plastic surgery capital of the world. An estimated one out of three to five women in the country have already undergone at least one cosmetic procedure. South Koreans are serious about blood types. While this custom traces its roots in Japan, it has grown deep in South Korean culture. In terms of marriage in South Korea, blood type is a major determining factor for who could marry whom. South Korea observes a multi-party system. South Korea's multi-party system means that two political parties dominate the country. The conservative Grand National Party and the centrist Liberal Democratic Party dominated in the early 21st century. It is compulsory for all South Korean males to undergo military service. One of South Korea's most distinct practices is conscription or mandatory military enlistment for men between the ages of 18 and 28, established in 1957. The law's main objective is mainly to deter attacks from the north, hence, the government requires 21 to 24 months of mandatory military service. South Korea shares a mutual defense treaty with the United States. South Korea and the United States have shared the mutual defense treaty since 1953. As a result, a large contingent of U.S. troops is stationed in the country. All locals speak the South Korean language. Hangul classifies as one of the Altaic languages, is affiliated with Japanese, and contains some Chinese loanwords. Hanbok refers to the traditional dress worn in South Korea. Western influences have changed how the Hanbok looks, but it remains the traditional dress for the country. The version for females comprises a colorful billowing skirt, a short jacket held close by a long tie, and several layers of undergarments beneath. Both men and women used to wear Hanboks. The version for males includes full-legged pants and a wide sleeve jacket. Further, there are appropriate Hanboks for various occasions like weddings and birthdays. Group blind dating is part of the culture of South Korea, also known as meeting or so eating. These gatherings are an avenue for young university students to meet over drinks and meals. In South Korea, it is not good to leave an electric fan on overnight. They believe that doing so will kill the person sleeping right below it due to hypothermia and loss of oxygen. South Korea practices crime reenactment. Police would lead crime suspects to the crime scene where they will have to reenact the crime publicly. What makes the activity more humiliating is the invitation for the media to take footage and publish details about the crime. The number 4 is considered unlucky in South Korea. The belief of this unlucky number traces its origin to China. Koreans traditionally fear the number 4 because the term sounds like the Korean word for death. Red is a lucky color in South Korea. As a symbol of good fortune, the color is usually present in Korean wedding garments. Eyelid surgery is the most common cosmetic procedure done in Korea. It is a typical 16th birthday gift request among young South Koreans. Apparently, having a double eyelid surgery would make them look more Western. In South Korea, there is a color code for taxis. This distinction indicates the level of service that a certain vehicle offers. A taxi in white or gray is a basic car with a qualified but inexperienced driver. On the other hand, black cabs are luxury cars driven by experienced drivers. South Korea considers video games as a proper sport. Top players in the field earn even more than some sports champions. Moreover, video game tournaments have dozens of thousands of followers who watch in filled stadiums and online streaming sites. South Koreans fear the sun. They consider having dark skin as a reminder of a farmer's life which is not very trendy in the country. Hence, it is common to see sun umbrellas and uncommon to see exposed shoulders or arms. Koreans view leg fidgeting as bad luck. Shaking your leg might just be a mindless tick to you, but South Koreans traditionally associate it with losing opportunities or good luck. Kimchi is the national dish of South Korea. Vegetables and spices compose this combination that is traditionally fermented underground for a few months. When it is ready, it is typically eaten with almost every kind of food. South Koreans are fond of sweet potatoes. Almost every possible dish has a sweet potato flavor. The list includes main courses, desserts, salads, bread, chips, latte, and even pizza. In South Korea, it is best to eat octopus raw. Some people will cut the live seafood up and put it in a bowl. On the other hand, others prefer cutting the still moving legs, eating the legs then tossing the rest of the body into a stew. In South Korea, Valentine's Day is for men. It is customary for women to express it to men in South Korea. Chocolate is the most common gift given to significant others during this time. March 14th is White Day in South Korea. On this day, men are the ones who buy gifts for the ladies, however, they must spend 3x the amount of what they received on Valentine's Day. 
Almost every 14th of the month in South Korea has a corresponding romantic-themed holiday. South Koreans celebrate Kiss Day on June 14th, while December 14th is Hug Day. Meanwhile, April 14th is Black Day when single locals would mourn their singleness by eating Jajang Mayan. South Korea celebrates the Harvest Moon Festival. Over 20 million residents travel to their hometowns annually for the Harvest Moon Festival. There, they will visit the graves of their ancestors to which they will bring gifts like food to place on the graves. The Boryeon Mud Festival in South Korea draws millions of foreigners annually. For 10 days of the event, mud massages, mud marathons, mud wrestling contests, and mud photo contests are up for revelers to enjoy. Originally, it started in 1998 as a strategy to advertise mud cosmetics. South Korea is home to numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites. First is the Tripitaka Koreana located at Hang Temple, west of Taegu, designated in 1995. It holds the most complete editions of Buddhist canonical writings in the world. Haesundang Park in South Korea is full of penis statues. At Dilmusi, there is a penis-themed restaurant that features jaji or penis statues lined up along the path to the restaurant. Jeju is the largest island in South Korea. Along its beaches, there are giant stone statues known as Dol Harabang or Old Grandfather. Beliefs tell newlywed women that touching the noses of the statues would bless them with fertility. The national flower of South Korea is the Magungwa or Rose of Sharon, a hibiscus type. The flower represents the national anthem of the country. Moreover, South Koreans perceive it as a symbol of their past glories and adversities. The crane is a good fortune symbol in South Korea. Red crown cranes could reach a height of 5 feet. These large birds are ones that South Korea trusts in terms of their fortune. South Koreans have a feces obsession. The country has a variety of phone charms, turd-shaped cookies, and even an entire museum dedicated to poop. Further, toilets across Soker feature pleasant background music, colored water, and flushing sounds. Thanks for watching our video on the most interesting facts about South Korea. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed the information. South Korea is a country with a rich history and culture, and we only scratched the surface in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.